Anne was uh, very specific when we were furniture shopping. This tabletop is resin so the kids can do whatever they want on it. Inside the family room at the Bruce Oak Recovery Center, Anne Oak can be seen and felt in every corner. Every touch, no matter how small, was handpicked by her. She decided, uh, she and I went furniture shopping and I lost my patience after about 10 minutes as most men would. She was very particular. The Oak family matriarch lived long enough to see the family's dream of opening an addiction center become a reality before she passed away in 2021. A 50 bed men's only treatment facility to honor their son Bruce who died from an accidental overdose. Our dream was always to get the Bruce Oak Recovery Center built so that men could come here to get healthy and so that what happened to Bruce didn't have to happen to somebody else who had the opportunity to come here for treatment. And uh, we never did, though, lose sight of a woman's center. The Anne Oak Family Recovery Center will offer long-term residential treatment for women and include childcare spaces to help support mothers. While specifics for the new centre are still being worked out, including a location, for those involved, the focus is already clear. Family and children will be the, of the highest priority and will be really at core to everything we're doing to be able to accommodate. So uh, the majority of places right now, uh, that, from the research we've done, it, um, often that creates a barrier uh, with being able to support a family. So it will be the number one, I think, differentiator. And like the current centre, no one will be turned away for an inability to pay. It's a barrier River Johnson faced when he needed treatment. Anne and Scott changed that, quietly paying for it. It's life or death, Brittany. I'm very certain I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here. Um, I very likely, um, you know, would have died. It was life-changing for Johnson, and so was Anne. God, <laughs> everything that she was was about making the world better. She wanted the world to be better, and she believed the best in people. Anne lived by the motto that it costs nothing to be kind to someone, and Scott is helping ensure that kindness continues tenfold by helping those struggling with addiction. We can't end it, but we can help get people back to their, their, their families, their loved ones, their jobs, society. And honour Anne in the process. Brittany Greenslade, CBC News, Winnipeg.